Are you ready? The Cornelia Stephanie Show. Wake up to love your call to action. Join Cornelia as she empowers others to live heaven on earth. Cornelia teaches listeners how to be the authority over yourself, embracing your inner guru. Feel yourself uplifted into limitless expansion, integrating ease and grace in a changing world. This show will cover topics such as unconditional love, your physical body, how to be in extraordinary relationships, create financial and emotional wealth, embracing entrepreneurship in the new earth. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Cornelia Stephanie Show. I hope that you are with us in our last show that we just did. We just did a whole episode on stories that heal. Now more than ever, we need stories that inspire hope because stories is really what connects people. It's what brings people together. And especially right now with all the changes and everything that's going on out there in the world, when we hear someone else's challenges that they faced and how they've overcome it, that is when we can recognize, ah, yes, I resonate with that story. I, I, I can relate to that story because I'm experiencing the same exact thing. In our last episode, we had stories of uh, sharing of what it was like to live beyond, live life after suicide. We had stories of uh, what is it like when you're um, at the airport and you're in a completely new and different country, you don't speak the language and you're being threatened to be deported. We, We had a story of what it's like when you're, you're scared so much that you're, um, you were scared so much that you were scared back to life. So there were so many amazing um, stories to share. And just like my next guest has an incredible story to share. She is uh, a very dear, becoming a very dear close friend. We've talked about, we've talked many different times on uh, private conversations. And I have a lot of respect and admiration for her. And her name is Karen Timer. Welcome to the show, Karen. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for having me here. It's wonderful to have you here. And I can't wait to share your story with the audience. Let me first tell the audience a little bit about your background, that you are an entrepreneur. You are that. You're definitely an entrepreneur woman that you are an empowerment coach, you're a healer, you're a storyteller. I added that into your bio simply because that's what I see that you do naturally. And I don't even know if you realize it that well, but that you are a a natural storyteller. It's not something that you have to try to learn. Uh, You're also a holistic practitioner. And so we look forward to hearing what your core message is today that you want to share with everyone. Oh, well, I definitely want to share with everybody that there is life after 50 and after divorce, (laughs) because um, a lot of people, especially during this time I've been hearing are splitting up and having a hard time and and becoming uh, a single and stuff. So um, yes, there is life after. Um, So my story is, uh, and yes, I do love to tell stories. (laughs) Um, I, uh, four years ago, I was turning 50. And I remember thinking to myself, this is how the first part of my life went, looked like, what do I want the second part to look? And I realized that my dreams actually weren't coming true in the first part. Some did, some didn't, but my big dreams weren't coming true. And I actually felt really lost and I felt alone and I felt like I didn't have any purpose. And I know that we're put here for a reason and I didn't know what that was. And I didn't actually know what that meant. And unfortunately, as I was looking into my future, I didn't see my husband there. And that really scared me because we've been together for 16 years And I thought we were going to live this dream life and live happily ever after. And then I realized that we just grew apart. We were definitely on different paths. 
we're still now friends today, which is great. I'm blessed for that. I'm grateful for that. Um, but uh, I didn't see him in my future. So I ended up my marriage. And that was really tough because I had no backup plan. I didn't know what I was going to do to survive because I only worked as a massage therapist part time. And so I thought, okay, I got to hustle here and really figure out how to make money to, to move forward. And at the same time, an opportunity showed up, a network marketing company called Organo. Now, I can't believe how much that's changed my life. This is not a sales pitch. This is just how my life has gone. So I remember going to an event and uh, it was a network marketing event and this was maybe a year later, and uh, the speaker had said to us, said to everybody, if your business hasn't changed in a year, go find out what your blocks are and go figure it out. And I thought, well, I've sabotaged my massage business. I didn't even realize I was doing that. And uh, my network marketing business wasn't doing much. So I asked one of my leaders, I said, okay, what do I do? I don't even know what a block is, right? I just knew I wasn't getting anywhere. So I got a coach and I am so grateful for this coach because she's made me understand how our mind works and, and how our thoughts work. So I did that. Then I started listening to Esther Hicks, Esther Hicks and abundance, Esther Hicks and you know, how to find self love because I was on a discovery journey and I've had health issues in the past. I didn't want to go back there again. So I thought, okay, I got to heal my body. And apparently I needed to heal my mind. So I started doing that. And I went on a journey the last couple of years. So um, Esther Hicks has been a godsend, especially during this whole time, because, you know, different emotions show up and we don't know how to deal with that. So I would Google her, her and shame, her and doubt, her and Esther Hicks and guilt, anger, whatever that is, and how to attract abundance. So and then I started learning more from Dr. Joe Dispenza. Started learning how the mind and body, the connection there. And now I've learned about how mind, body, and spirit connect. And uh, it's definitely been a powerful journey. And then I start, and then I found a retreat and started getting into plant medicine, which started healing my my body and my mind even more, and started getting me connected to the spirit, <laughs> which I'm just learning more about. Um, and I am so grateful for this journey. It's tough. It's not an easy journey, but it's so worth it because now I know how to, um, handle an emotion when it shows up, right? If anger shows up, where is this anger coming from? If somebody, uh, triggers something in me, meaning, you know, I start judging or I start whatever that negative emotion is, I now can sit back going, what is it that I'm missing inside of me that I need to heal. So that's sort of been where I'm at. And, and this journey has been phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. So yes, ladies or gentlemen, <laughs> there is life after and just don't settle because there's so much to life than being miserable. And I can't, I can't stress that out more and more and enough because it's fun and I'm excited because now I'm getting opportunities like being on your show. I want to share my story with others. My biggest purpose I've learned is I really want to help other people through health, through wellness, through maybe finding their purpose, whatever that looks like, to help them just get over that hurdle, just that little bit of moving forward. <laughs> Yes, I love that. And I just want to say, you know, right off the bat, I the respect that I have for you is, you know, when you're looking at your life and you looked ahead and you didn't see your husband there and then you ended your marriage, this is like uh, being at a job, being in a relationship that isn't serving you any longer and then having the courage to say, my life matters more and that I'm willing for change, even though I don't know what's going to come out of it. And that takes a lot, a lot of courage because your survival was at stake. Just like when people are at a job and they're, they're letting go of the job to go for a different adventure, something for their heart's calling, that our survival is at stake. So it's always a big thing. 
but uh, you did it and you're doing it. And the, the, that's why having, uh, making an investment in yourself, getting a coach uh, is a powerful, a powerful tool to have a coach. So I, I'm glad that you took the action there so that you can really have a midwife, somebody that's going to hold you accountable to shift some of these things. Let us tell the audience, we have one minute. This goes by very oh, fast. Wow. <laughs> I know. We have one minute. Where can we tell the audience where they can go and learn more about you or maybe have a conversation with you around okay. your network marketing business that they can find out more? Because there's so many people right now that are looking at, um, you know, starting a business on their own. And what is it that they can do? And so how can they find you? Well, I'm on Facebook and Instagram, and I am more consistent on it than I was before. So uh, you can find me at Freedom of Movement Massage Therapy. That's my Facebook. Uh, You can reach me at, um, uh, what is it? Instagram is Freedom of Movement RMT. And if you want, you can, my website is Freedom of Movement RMT as well, .com. So you can reach me that way. Wonderful. Wonderful, Karen. It's great to have you on. And thank you so much for being so courageous, sharing your story for life after 50, life after divorce, and that definitely to answer to the heart's call. I love all the action steps you took. And that was to get a coach. That was to strengthen your spiritual practice and, uh, you know, get involved with the right company that's going to support you. So thanks so much for coming on to share your story. We'll see you again, Karen. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. Thank you. We'll see you. We'll, we'll, okay. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back. Great. Are you ready to accelerate your wealth and success? Join Ahana and Daniel from Rise and Be Rich with Cornelia Stephanie on the Millionaire Imprint for Women on Transformation Talk Radio every third Friday, 1 p.m. PST. Step out of lack and into your power of creation. Build and grow your wealth. Create prosperous businesses that make a difference. Visit ahanalara.com forward slash RBR show. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day, we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. Some people dream of freedom before they know it even once. What happens when we find ourselves in unimaginable freedom? We're tired, children are grown, we've moved on from caregiving, and don't know what to do with all that time you never had before. Well, it's your life. It's up to you now. On the hit new show, Fresh Courage, it's your time to shine with host Sharon Rolfe on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Yeah, yippee skippy to that, baby. We're not done yet. Some of us are out here to educate and inspire. This year, 2020, is the year we got to show me the money in the cash flow. I'm Dr. Pat. This is the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. Visit the DrPatShow.com. Dream on, lie high, and live adventurously on The Laura Meeks Show. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio as host Laura Meeks guides you in finding your unique gifts and bringing them to life. As a certified life coach, speaker, and veteran bomber pilot for the U.S. Air Force, Laura knows how to follow a dream. She is ready to support you so you can dream on, fly high, and live adventurously. For more information on Laura and her work, Visit flyhighliving.com. Are you ready to shift your current beliefs about death from debilitating pain and loss? Follow Angie Corbett Kuiper as she shares that through choice, present moment awareness, and keeping an open mind. Anything is possible, even in death. Tune in to Beyond Proof Radio with Angie, redefining death and loss every first Wednesday at 12 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. For more, visit beyondproof.com.
Welcome back, everyone. You're listening to the Cornelia Stephanie Show with stories that heal. My next guest is Kelly Walk Hines. Welcome to the show, Kelly. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Thanks for being here. I'm looking forward to hearing your story. Let me let the audience know a little bit about what you do. You are a psychiatric nurse and you specialize in child and mental health develop um, trauma development and and traumatic childhood partner invention you wrote a book on on that back in 1993 uh traumatic childhood abuse that was through my work yeah through my work i've since written a um two more books since then um but it's all about um i was driven to that work with um the mental health working with kids because of my abusive childhood and that um, allowed me to be able to help uh, kids in a, in a different way. So, yeah. So you basically took what you experienced as a child and you wanted to make sure that no child ever felt that way again. Exactly. And to let people know hope, hope, you know, that's why this is such a great program because hope is one of my favorite things to talk about because if you don't, if you don't have hope, then you just, I don't know how people even move, but just knowing that things can get better and things can, you can be happy, you can heal. Hope is tremendous. So I've spent my adult life trying to give people hope, trying to empower people to find their inner hope and their inner strength and their inner love so that they can find hope so that they can move on and heal. So So tell us about, tell us about that that story, what your core message is today, aside from the hope and all the wonderful work that you're doing. I mean, there's so much child abuse, child neglect that's happening on this planet, not just like right now that's happening out there, but many of us, if we haven't healed our own inner child, there's that work that needs to be done. So, and usually people that are abusers of children, they are just recreating the past, right? Of something that's occurred for them. What, what's your core message, Kelly, that you want to share with our audience today? My core message is to, one, self-love. Self-love is so important. Um, my Going back to where I got my hope and my faith from, um, when my mom was murdered when I was three due to domestic violence, and um, I was separated from my siblings because of my dad. I was my dad's only child, so after my mom passed, um, I had to go live with him. But unfortunately, he was abusive and an addict. So I had to live with um, everyday violence. So I kind of, um, instead of learning how to play and get along and do regular things kids did, I just listened and had to worry about if I was safe or not. And that's how I became the invisible child. And just the only thing that got me through is that I found faith when I was about six at a church we were allowed to attend. Um, and faith just kept me, kept me alive, truthfully. And to me, hope is an action of faith. If you know, if you know that things will get better and things can get better. Um, when I became an adult, I realized that I have the power to make things different. I have the power to change things that I didn't have the power when I was a kid to do much. I couldn't control anything of my environment. I couldn't control. Um, watching people that I loved get physically hurt. Um, And that's a horrific thing to have to go through. So as an adult, I look for people that, that need that extra boost, that need that extra love, that need that encouragement, because don't we all need it? Isn't it a little bit easier in life when you have somebody saying, you can do this, you can get through it. You're not alone. And part of my, um, my thing I try to do with my books and my blog, I have a, a blog on Facebook that um, it's called Hope in the Darkness because I believe you need hope more than anything when you're in the middle of darkness. And I always tell people like when you're in the middle of darkness, like like right now, there's a lot of people that cannot see past the dark room they're in. So I always tell people, imagine right outside that door there is peace, there is happiness, there's another way of life. So just take step by step, even if you can't see it, even if you can't see a change and you feel like there's nothing, each step forward, each day that you fight, 
you'll get to that doorknob and you'll get to open that door and you'll be okay because there is healing after pain. And that's one of my biggest messages. Sometimes people hurt so bad that they cannot see any way out. What's the point? What do I matter? And if anything I try to teach people is you matter to yourself. You are enough. You don't need 5,000 people that say they love you. You have to love yourself. And if you love yourself and you know that you are worth it, that you do the best that you can do. I am far from perfect, but I know every day that I try to get up, do the right thing, be kind to people. So I don't listen when somebody tells me that I'm not doing what they think I should do or that, you know, I'm not quite up to their speed. That's okay. I don't have to be. You're not my people. That's fine. I love myself enough to know imperfections and all. And that was what helps me get through every single day. And I was able to, I mean, I had, as many people do, I'm not the only one, like you said, a lot of people have had horrific childhoods, horrific adulthoods, and it's hard to see past that. But I was able to fight and to have two amazing children and to fight and to have jobs where I was able to help people and have jobs where I could make a difference. And and that's what I try to do with my, my ministry, with, um, with my, you know, with my books and I have a, you know, exhibit I do, but I do it so that I can be the voice of people that don't have a voice or they're not able to talk about it. Cause I'm willing to talk about it to anybody that wants to listen. Cause I want people to understand. I don't want it to be into a closet. There's abuse everywhere and it needs to stop. So there's lots of, um, of places out there. That, you know, if you, like you said, there's a suicide hotline, there's domestic violence hotline where people truly, truly care. But like you said, you can contact you, you can contact, they can contact me on my, on my Facebook and, and talk to me. I'm willing to, to talk to them until they feel strong enough to, to handle it on their own. Kelly, a- what, Kelly, what's the uh, Facebook that they can contact you on? I think it's really important, you know, like, even if you're an abuser, I just want to say this right now for the person that needs to hear this. Let's just say you're an abuser and you're actually hitting your child and you're listening to this message and you want to stop. You know, you want to stop. This is okay. As long as you take those action steps, and you know, call somebody and talk to somebody about it because most of the time, again, you know, we, we relive what we've lived in our past. You know, I've, I've done many, many uh, counseling works with people where I've coached people that have been child molesters and it's because they've been a product of their environment. They were a child, they were molested as children. So uh, we want to be able to stop the violence. And that's a really important piece right now because it, violence, violence of any kind, bullying, violence is just not acceptable anymore. So Kelly, where can people find you at on Facebook? Um, my Facebook um, blog is, is Hope in the Darkness, Memoirs of an Invisible Child. And I also have, you can find me on Amazon. I have books by that name. Um, and I have a lot of people that have read it and that they message me. I encourage you, if, if you guys just need somebody to talk to, feel free to message me and I can help you find, you know, more help, different help, or just be someone to listen to because I truly do care and I know life can get better and there is hope and there is healing after her. Can I ask you a question? Thank you. Sure. God, you are awesome. I'm so glad that you said yes to come on today. Thank I mean, you. really, truly really an honor and a pleasure to meet you. I'm so glad. What yes. I want to know, are two things, two questions I had when you were talking, uh, your dad. Mm-hmm. And I want to find out about, uh, did you ever know who murdered your mother? Her boyfriend. Her boyfriend. Okay, it was domestic violence. He killed her. Blah blah. Yeah. Yeah. And then- she, we had lived in New Jersey. She escaped New Jersey to Florida to get away from my dad because he was abusive and stalked her and met another guy and and he ended up killing her before I was even. Yeah, you know, I was about three and a half um, when she passed away, um, and that's horrific. That and- is because I can relate to this myself because I I also had a mother that was abused by her boyfriends as well. And I swore I would never, ever let a man lay a hand on me. 
uh, that was my, and it, it never happened, but uh, oh. I remember the morning when I walked into uh, my mom's room and she had a sheet all the way over her body, all the way from the, from her feet, all the way over her head. And I went there and I pulled the sheet back. I thought she was dead. I pulled the sheet back over and I looked at her and she was beaten so bad that I couldn't recognize her. He took her to the woods and he tied her to a tree and he took a, a piece of stem, a piece of wood and beat her to the point where she, you couldn't even recognize her. It took me three months to nurture and heal and, and nurse my mother back to life because she was the sole provider That's for my family. So what you're talking about, I absolutely know. And this is what we're talking about. And this is what needs to stop. Kelly, I thank you so much for being here. Thank you, everybody, for listening and tuning in and for, uh, you know, bringing us this hope, for giving us this um, this lifeline, because sometimes that's exactly what it is. Absolutely. It's a lifeline to make a change. Thanks, Kelly. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back. Are you ready to accelerate your wealth and success? Join Ahana and Daniel from Rise and Be Rich with Cornelia Stephanie on the Millionaire Imprint for Women on Transformation Talk Radio every third Friday, 1 p.m. PST. Step out of lack and into your power of creation. Build and grow your wealth. Create prosperous businesses that make a difference. Visit ahanalara.com forward slash RBR show. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. Some people dream of freedom before they know it even once. What happens when we find ourselves in unimaginable freedom? We're tired, children are grown, we've moved on from caregiving, and don't know what to do with all that time you never had before. Well, it's your life. It's up to you now. On the hit new show, Fresh Courage, it's your time to shine with host Sharon Rolfe on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Yeah, yippee skippy to that, baby. We're not done yet. Some of us are out here to educate and inspire. This year, 2020, is the year we got to show me the money in the cash flow. I'm Dr. Pat. This is the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. Visit the thedrpatshow.com. Dream on, lie high, and live adventurously on The Laura Meeks Show. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio as host Laura Meeks guides you in finding your unique gifts and bringing them to life. As a certified life coach, speaker, and veteran bomber pilot for the U.S. Air Force, Laura knows how to follow a dream. She is ready to support you so you can dream on, lie high, and live adventurously. For more information on Laura and her work, visit flyhighliving.com. Dream on, fly high, and live adventurously on The Laura Meeks Show. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio as host Laura Meeks guides you in finding your unique gifts and bringing them to life. As a certified life coach, speaker, and veteran bomber pilot for the U.S. Air Force, Laura knows how to follow a dream. She is ready to support you so you can dream on, fly high, and live adventurously. For more information on Laura and her work, visit flyhighliving.com. Welcome back. Wow, are we having a grand time listening to these incredible stories. My next guest is Christina Christina Reisinger. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the show, Christina. Thank you for having me. It's wonderful to have you here. I'm excited to hear what your core message is, but I do want to let the audience know a little bit about what it is that you do. 
you're an author, you're a speaker, you are also a podcaster. So you've got experience with this whole uh, podcasting world. Uh, one of the works that you're already doing that I absolutely love, which I think is essential for every single human being on this planet, and that is to be in, you know, to have the practice of being in a, being uh, processing their emotions, and you specialize in emotional grief counseling, mm -hmm. right? How to, I, uh, how to, you know, how to turn your grief into strength. And that's, that's mm -hmm. what your, what it is that you do and you offer hope and purpose for people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, I am a grief coach and uh, it's, it's a little different than a counselor, but I am a coach and uh I came by it through uh, experience and then certification after that. Um, would you like for me to just tell my story, uh, main message? Yeah, yeah. I want to I hear your core message. I want to hear the deep story that okay. somebody out there needs to hear right now so that they can realize, oh, that's me. Yeah. So the, um, the, the way that I came about this is in a way that nobody really wants to. Um, the thing that I share with people is hope and perseverance after uh, adversity. Uh, it started in 2016 when my husband and I had our fourth child and she was born with trisomy 18. And uh, we were told that she was incompatible with life. And you know, throughout the pregnancy, after the delivery, uh, she stayed five and a half months in the NICU. And uh, after that, we brought her home for five months and then she did pass away just before her first birthday. Um, I struggled quite a bit, you know, most people would uh, or anybody would rather um, through going through the first couple of years with really, really immense grief, very much uh, not understanding why I would be given a child and then have her taken away from me. And um, you know, after a couple of years, I just, I had already started a blog because I'm a type A personality and I jumped into a lot of things, I guess, to try to keep my mind off of it. And it ended up really being a healing tool for me, which I turned into my book. And then I was certified as a grief coach because uh, I wanted to help other people. And this was something that was recommended to me right after Isabella passed away but I wasn't in that space at the time to help anybody. I was really actually angry when somebody suggested that because I said, well, I don't, I don't want to help people. I want my child back, but it has come to this place where now I want to be able to help those people who go through things. Um, so yeah, I, I became a grief coach and I started a, a symposium and some other things to help people realize that they're not alone and uh, that they can live their life, you know, after they have bad experiences, bad circumstances, adversity, because, you know, we're not promised to have a perfect life. Nobody does. So. I, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine what it would be like. I think that's probably the worst thing in the world is to lose a child. It's got to be one of the worst things in the world. So I can't even imagine what that is like. Uh, that must have really, uh, you know, brought you to your knees. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, you know, how do you go on from something like that after that and still smile and still mm -hmm. engage in life again and, and play with your other children? Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, how do, how do you do that? How do you face that, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> For me, um, the biggest component of being able to move forward uh, is my faith. I am Christian, and so being able to uh, allow this peace that surpasses all understanding, the supernatural peace, it's definitely not a human peace. Uh, you know, we're only three and a half years out, so had I not been able to do this, I probably would still be in my bed, you know, not being able to function very well. And um, I mean, I have other children as well, but th that is a big component of it. Also understanding, um, I had an epiphany when I understood that I wasn't in control. It didn't matter 
how much I um, tortured myself with the coulda, woulda, shouldas. But, um, you know, I realized that that wouldn't bring her back. Mm -hmm. And uh, so once I realized that, I was able to be a little bit more free. And then also understanding that it's a choice. So I can choose to say I have had this awful thing happen and it's brought me to my knees. Um, And these, I always tell people, these are kind of fighting words. You know, you when I ever hear, hey, it's your choice. You know, well, it wasn't my choice that this particular thing happened. But what is my choice is how I move forward from it. Mm -hmm. If I allow myself to smile again, if I allow myself to laugh again, if I allow myself joy in life, and that way I can carry on her legacy. You know, so being able to do that. And so I've been able to do that by helping other people through the grief coaching and uh, the other things that I do. And then in turn, I realized that by helping other people and by being of service to other people, that in turn helps me continue to heal as well. Yes. Wow. And that must have been quite an incredible journey for your family because you weren't the only one that was affected by this, your husband and mm-hmm. the, your other children. Mm-hmm. And so how is everyone and how, how did they all deal with all of it? Because everyone handles grief in their own way, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so my husband and I actually have done some videos on uh, the differences between us personally. Uh, I actually resented him. For a couple of years because, um, and I can say this because we're open about it, but um, I didn't feel like he grieved properly. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he's actually the one that helped me understand that I wasn't in control because I would keep coming up with these crazy coulda, woulda, shouldas, what happened? What if they did this? What if it, you know, and he said, what are you going to do? You know, how is it going to change anything? And I just realized you're right. You know, I'm not in control. And he thought he had to be strong for me because I was just coming apart. Mm-hmm. So um, that that is that. And, and we are able to be in a place now where we both have a better understanding and we work together um, with, with that piece. The kids are a little bit different story. They were, our kids were so young. Um, mm-hmm. One thing is that my, my youngest daughter now is five and she's just now realizing that she doesn't have her sister. You know, she was only two when her sister passed away, but she's realizing they would have shared a room and they would have played together and they would have dressed up and had their photographs taken and all the things. And so I'm working on a different piece of that story to help her through that, getting her involved in like a passion project that we're doing together. And hopefully there'll be a few more books in the future with that as well. Wow, that's so awesome. I find that such such an incredible Story. Like I said, I, I don't know what that would be like to, you know, lose a child. And I think it's it's uh, heroic the way you two move through it. Now, did you and your husband do videos and put them on YouTube? We did. So, yes. And we're Tell, in the us process. Tell us where to go. Uh, well, right now it's under Christina Reisinger, um, but we're in the process of getting the YouTube channel up and running. <laughs> oh, okay. There's so, only a couple of them up there right now. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> You know, let us let the audience know where they can be getting in contact with you, because that was the whole point is that people whenever whatever story that people needed to hear that they that they were able to be put in contact with the right person for at the right time. And so how can people reach you and how can they learn more about your work? Okay. So uh, go to ChristinaRisinger.com and I have information on there about uh my grief coaching, uh, there will be things about, I do a symposium every year, a grief symposium, it's virtual, and it's coming up in October, so that information will be on there, um, different resources, uh, and then my podcast at Faith Breathed Hope, uh, it is on like iTunes and Lipson, and I believe it's Spotify, all the places, so. Good, wonderful. Can I ask one last question is, were you all, you know, you said you're, you're Christian, did you all have a strong sense of faith before that all happened? Yeah, I, I grew up a Christian, but, you know, a lot of people that I talk to when they lose somebody, they uh, doubt God or they end up getting angry at God. 
Um, for me, it was kind of the opposite. My faith grew stronger. I did come to this place where I really questioned because I said, you know what? Um, I believed and I asked for a miracle and there would be people saying, well, you got your miracle. And I said, well, no, I didn't get my miracle because that would have been on earth. My daughter, I was asking for her to be healed. And I, but the thing is, is God is using me now. And so my faith is becoming stronger as I stay in the word. And I really realized his promises. One of, um, if I, if I may share a verse, please do. Um, one of the verses that got me through uh, five and a half months in the NICU and then the time at home. And then since then is, um, you know, um, I'm sorry, I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I will wait on the Lord. Okay. And so just, I always knew the Bible was full of promises, but um, it really was more meaningful. And I said, you know what? He wants us to have goodness here. You know, we know heaven is perfect, but he wants us to live our life and have joy here on earth. And so that has really been um, a big part of my healing as well understanding that I don't have to sit in these these sad emotions and this depression and this longing to have my child back again because I'm going to see her again. Wonderful. Christina Reisinger, thank you so much for coming on today, sharing your incredible story of loss and grief and family and God. And one of the things that I really love, I respect that so much when I see people strong in their faith, that is a very a beautiful message in its own is to really stand in their faith and and uh, share that and share that joyously out loud uh standing up for what it is that you believe in and um standing in your word in the word thank you so much for coming on and for sharing your story and we're going to go to break and we'll be right back thank you It's time to get your life back on Burn Bright Today with Jennifer Marcinelli. Tune in each month on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Learn to move from the darkness of burning out to the light of burning bright. Jennifer is redefining stress and the energetic causes of burnout, shining a light on process to get your life back. For more information about Jennifer and her work, visit BurnBrightToday.com. Are you ready to put down that drink or drug for good? Are you struggling to maintain your recovery from addictive behaviors? Do you need help with a family member or loved one who's in early recovery or battling addiction? Get the help and guidance you need by arranging a recovery recharged phone session with me, Ellen Stewart, Pushy Broad from the Bronx, Certified Life and Recovery Coach. Call 1-800-889-889. 1757. Make an appointment today or go to my website, pushybroadfromthebronx.com and click on the link that says Recovery Recharged. Don't wait. Get the help you need today. This is Ellen Stewart, Pushy Broad from the Bronx on TransformationTalkRadio.com. The vibration of change, that magical place where life shifts from struggle to ease, from stagnation to forward movement, from old ways of being to new ways of becoming. If you're like I am, it can be rather elusive to get there, but when you are in it, you feel it down to your very core, don't you? And it can positively affect everything in your life, from your relationships to your health and well-being, from your career path to your abundance. From the quality of that inner connection to the fullness of your self-expression. On the Christine Upchurch Show, we explore ways to get into that vibration of change with experts in the fields of consciousness, psychology, spirituality, health, healing, and science. Join me, Christine Upchurch, every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Time on KKNW AM 1150 and Transformation Talk Radio and learn new ways to step into your vibration of change. Have you ever wondered what your pets think about? Do you know what your pets are saying to you? Dr. Monica will be your pet's translator to help you understand what your pets are trying to communicate to you. Enhance the bond with your furry friends. 
on Pets Talk with pet communicator Dr. Monica each month on TransformationTalkRadio.com. For more information about Dr. Monica, visit PetCommunicator.com. What an incredible podcast series this has been, the last two shows. It's been extraordinary listening to all these amazing stories of triumph and victory and perseverance and strength. My last guest today is very special, very special lady that I have the pleasure of introducing to you. Her name is Ashley Hudson Spiller. And I met Ashley almost uh, let's see, a year, almost two years ago, because she works for me. She is our virtual assistant at Cornelia Stephanie on the Cornelia Stephanie Foundation. And so uh, it's, it's an honor and a pleasure to have Ashley on. She's an entrepreneur. She's a virtual assistant. She's a mom and she's a wife and she's, she does lots of different things. And she also is an entrepreneur. So that's, that's what it is. And, and we, we invited Ashley on today because she too has recently had to face a very trying time in her life that she's going to share with us now. Welcome to the show, Ashley. Hi, Cornelia. Thank you so much for having me on. Um, yes. Yeah, so today I wanted to come and share a story um, about my son, Logan and our journey with Logan. And um, I'm very appreciative for Cornelia to have me on here to share. Cornelia has been a a support for me throughout this whole journey with Logan. And so um, I have three children here at home, uh, three boys, lovely boys, wild. (laughs) And um, so when Logan turned one, we started noticing some developmental delays and a speech delay, but I really didn't think too much of it because our second son had a speech delay. So I'm like, okay, we'll just get in the therapy services and we'll get this thing going. And he's going to be talking before you know it. And before I knew it, the lady that I trust and she worked with our second son, she's like, listen, I, I think there's something a little bit more here. We, we need to look. And as a mom, that is probably one of the hardest things to hear. Like, no, this is supposed to be perfect. He's perfect. Look at him. He's healthy. He's great. And, and when he wasn't meeting those milestones, the fear and panic started to sink in and I was extremely nervous. And so, um, I'm a faithful person. And so I prayed about this circumstance and I was really, um, just faithful in my prayer to God and saying, can you please help me send me, send me resources, send me what I need to know, because I'm not going to take no as an answer, a diagnosis, which he's not diagnosed. He's just delayed, but anything, I'm not going to stop here. I'm going to keep going to make him the best version of himself that he can. And so literally, uh, I had four different people, not even connected, tell me, you got to read this book. You got to read Speak Up Buttercup by Jody Mischek. Put it up there for you. And so okay, as soon as we'll show that book again. So you had four different yeah. people at different times. Four, the book. four different people mentioned this book. Like they are not connected in my life whatsoever. And so I was like, this is a sign. Like this is a sign I need. I'm going to get this book. I started reading this book. And at the same time, I met a wonderful group of people that are very much, um, supportive in the, in the way of getting the toxins and, um, and chemical disruptors in our house, um, removed. And so that kind of aligned with everything with what Jody was saying. And, and then also on top of there, there's a lot about gut health and helping Logan with his gut. And so that just started the journey. So in January, we really started hitting hard with changing Logan's diet, incorporating supplements, and incorporating essential oils and helping him support his body the best that we could. And so um, in that journey, we have in the last, in the last two months, it's been amazing, the leaps and bounds that we have made. And, you know, it's funny, because I always felt like that this was just like gut health, like that's just a buzzword, right? Gut health. No, he's three gut health. But um, working with the natural practitioner, reading the book, 
we have seen the most amazing results. And as a mom, it just gives me such confidence to know that there are other moms out there willing to share and put their story out. And I felt like if these ladies hadn't come forward and said, read this book, you know, and I wouldn't have had the encouraging um, mentors that I have that were saying, try this, try this essential oil or try this supplement. I just know that in my heart that we would not have seen the results that we're seeing with Logan. Now he's talking, which there's so many new words coming every day, eye contact and playing with his siblings and just developing in a natural and normal way, you know? And so that's what I was going to ask you, Ashley, like, what are some of the results that you've seen? Like, so eye contact talking, I mean, that's, that's something that he wasn't doing before. He was very minimalist. Yeah. Yeah. So very minimally he, you know, I, and I think it's like a, he's my third son, right? So it's like, you're in a hurry. You're doing a lot with your kids and you're not that I was ignoring symptoms, but it just was stuff that I wasn't fully focused on. Cause I'm like, this is fine. He's going to be fine. And we're doing this. And, but now it's like in the last couple of months with really narrowing down the diet and really helping him, um, with supporting his emotions, it has been amazing. I, he, like I said, new words every week, new words. He's counting to 10. He's saying colors. He's recognizing his colors. Like it's just the progress. I know we're still in our journey and we will see a lot more to come, but, um, it's been, it's been wonderful. Um, and I would love to, you know, share, I'm, I'm happy to share this with other people because I think the information is super important. Give us the name of that book again. Um, it's called speak up buttercup. Speak up buttercup. So that's, yeah. yeah some people can use that on Amazon. Good. Yep. Um, and then yeah. you recently started uh, getting involved with um, a new, a company that has been around for about 20 years. Yeah. 27, 27 years. Yeah. 27 years. yeah, yeah. It has to do with essential oils and you're using essential oils actually to also support Logan, but also your family. And so yeah. tell people how they can learn more about, I mean, I know, essential oils. And I know of Young Living, which is your company, the company that you recently uh, became a distributor for. I know that company. I know the essential oils has done tremendous wonders for people's healing, but tell us more about where people can find out more about it and where people can maybe connect with you to talk to you more about what's happening, you know, with Logan or they just anything. Yeah, absolutely. So um, for Young Living, I have a site. It's called oily.life backslash Ashley Hotzapiller, my whole last name in lowercase um, with another backslash. And so, or the best way to contact me is probably through Facebook. You can find me on Facebook. I would love to connect. I'm in the process of starting up a group, a support group for other moms that are maybe experiencing this. Not exactly everybody's situation is different, right? And really going through the process of cleaning up our home and getting out the nasty chemicals that we've been using for years and years, you know, like our mothers use. So we use naturally not realizing what we're doing to our bodies and doing the ditch and switch. (laughs) So yeah, I uh, would love to connect with some other moms or anybody interested in this path because it's really, I, I'll leave with this. It was like when we started with Logan, I felt like I had done something wrong. Like I was being punished. And I hate to say that, but now it's so enlightening. It's been such a change in our life to know like this is really was given to us as a gift to change the path of our life and heal our bodies because our bodies were meant to heal themselves, but we just have to do the work to get out. Yeah. (laughs) To get out. the And so that's where we're going to leave it because that was brilliantly said. That was very well said. Great ending to our to our season today of the show's Stories of Hope. Thanks, everybody, for listening and tuning in. We'll see you again next time. Thanks, Ashley. Thank you. You've been listening to the Cornelia Stephanie Show, Wake Up to Love, Your Call to Action. Tune in each week on Transformation Talk Radio. Cornelia's joy is to engage others in practical ways, showing us how to live in the new earth in harmony with our true nature. For more information on Cornelia and her extraordinary work, or to listen to past shows, go to her website at corneliastephanie.com.